Let's take a look at an AI search agent. Users describe the data they want in natural language, and the agent creates the search query using SERB's filtering language and shows the results. It adapts in real time to your own custom fields and record types. For instance, we'll start with a basic example on organization records. An org is a group of contacts, and they have fields like name, location, and website. On a work list, we can filter them by a field like country. First, we need to grab the search agent workflow from the serb.ai website, click Docs at the top, and then How To Guides. In the AI Agents section, click Search Agent. Scroll down and copy the workflow template, then switch back to Serb and search workflow records. Create a new one and select empty. Click create and continue and paste the template. Click continue at the bottom. You'll need an API key from anthropic.com. Open the chooser and add a new connected service. Select anthropic. Paste your API key and click create, then select the new account. Click continue twice more and the workflow will create four automations and a toolbar section. Now, when you open the search menu, there's a new search with AI option. Click it. Type the data you want, like organizations in Europe. The agent was given a basic overview of search syntax. It comes up with a list of European countries and chooses the appropriate filter to use. It also tests the query before showing your results. Let's remove the website from an organization and then ask the agent to find it. We'll clear the SERB site and save the record. Now when we search, we can just say organizations without a website. The agent knows how to find blank fields, and we see the org we had just edited. So far, we've used built-in fields. Let's go into custom fields and add a new industry field on organization records. It'll be a pick list, and I'll paste some basic sectors, save the new field. Now let's list organization records and show the new industry field as a column so we can quickly categorize them. I'm going to speed up time here and use a combination of bulk update and the record editor pop-up to set the industry on the records. In practice, you probably just import a field like this from a CSV file. You could also have an AI agent set it after reviewing each website. Now we can go back to the AI agent and ask it to find an org in Europe in a healthcare or aerospace industry. It checks the filters for organization records and now sees our new industry filter with its list of values. Our demo data has two matches. We can remove the country filter to see there are four matches in those industries, one in Australia and another in Canada. Let's make it more complicated. We'll ask the AI agent to find tickets owned by Kina from the past year, with importance over 10, from healthcare companies. The agent figures out the four fields it will need. It looks up the ticket filters and reasons out that it can filter linked orgs by industry. Its query is correct on the first try. We can take a peek at a ticket and add the organization field to the pop-up. Yep, Baston Medical. Let's do one more and not tell it the record type. We'll type a password wrong on purpose. Oops. And then ask the AI agent about failed logins without telling it those are in the activity log. It first checks for login records, then realizes its mistake and checks the log. It sees the worker login failed activity filter and uses it. And there's the log entry we expected. This demo agent and its tools were created in a few minutes in Serb's browser coding tools and Kata scripting language. One LLM tool looks up filters for any record type, which can span linked records. Another tool tests a query and gives feedback to the agent to fix mistakes. Since this is an interaction automation, we can use the return command from the custom tool to exit and open a search pop-up. That's it. The same approach works for Q&A agents, coding agents, and more.